The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us here at Christ our Savior Lutheran Church in Holland, Michigan for the whole counsel of God where we hear God's word and pray together. On this first day of August, we continue in Galatians in the second chapter. Today we have verses 11 through 14. So let's hear God's word and pray. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Speak, Lord, for your servants here. Please show us now your ways, that we may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of our own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Give us life, O Lord, according to your word, and we shall declare your greatness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Galatians, the second chapter, verses 11 through 14, Paul opposes Peter. But when Caiaphas came to Antioch, I opposed him to his face, because he stood condemned. For before certain men came from James, he was eating with the Gentiles. But when they came, he drew back and separated himself, fearing the circumcision party. And the rest of the Jews acted hypocritically along with him, so that even Barnabas was led astray by their hypocrisy. But when I saw that their conduct was not in step with the truth of the gospel, I said to Caiaphas before them, all. If you, though a Jew, live like a Gentile and not like a Jew, how can you force the Gentiles to live like Jews? So far the word. For the sake of the truth of the gospel, Paul publicly rebukes Peter for his hypocritical conduct, which communicates that the Gentiles must keep Jewish laws. The word of God condemns hypocrisy. Yet, this history shows that God is true to his promise of mercy toward all sinners. We pray, O Lord, keep us from hypocrisy in our thoughts, in our words, and in our actions. Affirm our freedom, won by Christ. We pray this in his name. Amen. We continue in prayer on the first day of the month from the August Pray for Us calendar. We give thanksgiving for the many dedicated church workers in the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, who share in our joys and sorrows. And we ask the Lord to comfort and defend them from every assault of the devil. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. O merciful Father, you have wounded your own son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those wounded in body or mind and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. as well as Art and Rick, Melissa and Art, Clifford and Helen, Mary Ann, Jane, George, Brina, Marilyn, and Chris. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will and sustain them until the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O Lord, and whatever else you know we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.